Hello Nuggets. Okay, it's been a few days. Um, and the reason it's been a few days is that, do you remember, if you're watching this and you've looked at, this isn't your first one, I was writing a speed script and, or rather I was failing to write a speed script. So I thought, get the rough idea in my head or just the log line and then just try and blitz through it. And it went really well day one. Or we went, okay, day one, two, three, four, I think I got to day five. And then I just kind of wrote myself into a dead end. I was like, okay, this isn't going to work. I'm going to have to go back in the script. And then I kind of got sour on the whole idea because it just, I could just feel it was wrong. I still actually liked the idea of what I was writing, but I could feel that method was wrong. And I have to acknowledge that and say, okay, that didn't work. Keep trying, right? Because I still believe I can find a method that speeds me up and that works for me and that just slots in. Well, I think I have, but it's not for screenwriting, it's for playwriting. So I have written a play in three days. <laughs> Just finished it. Now, it's only first draft, right? And it's actually only about 68 pages right now, and I think it needs to be a little bit longer. But I've jumped over bits because, you know, I'm like, I've got to flush the characters out more and stuff like that. But here was the process that I use. I've had this idea for a play ever since I read Tracy Letts play The Minutes, which is a fantastic play. I don't know why it's not getting more people talking about it. Or maybe it is and I'm just out of touch, but I thought it was just a beautiful piece of writing. And I'm hot and cold in his stuff. I like some of his stuff tremendously and other stuff I'm like, eh, whatever. Um, he's a Pulitzer Prize winner. <laughs> so it was really good anyway. The Minutes was really good. And it kind of, I've had this idea and I read that and I'm like, oh, and it kind of germinated the idea. But it didn't really grow. It was still just a thought in my head. I actually had, I used something on my desktop called, what are these called? Sticky notes. Is that what they're called? Yeah, sticky notes. And I write one line for an idea. And I've had this one line on there for like three years. And just never touched it. Um, and then I read the minutes a few years after that. And then I just kind of ruminated. And then I went into my various script stuff. I wrote the pilot. I wrote another play. I did all of that. Just kind of sat on the back burner. And then I thought, fuck it, let's take this on. So I started doing a beat sheet for it. So actually what I started doing was characters. So I sat down, let me scroll to the top here of this document. What did I do? I started out with a log line and it's not like a uh, screenplay log line. It's a little looser than that. So I started with a log line. I wrote down some of the themes that I want to touch with this play. You know, what's the, what is the, what's the statement it's making? What are the metaphors I'm trying to push behind here? And then a simple setting, right? Where, where is this? What does the stage look like? Uh, and then a premise, which is like a paragraph on the idea. And then I started writing uh, the characters themselves, right? So it's an eight-hander. There are eight people in it. And I wrote little one-paragraph bios and secrets and, and important points about their characters. What type of ar archetype? If you don't know about archetypes and you're a writer, I think there's 15 or 12. I don't know. I use a website for mine, but but it's a known thing, right? There's like the magician, the warrior. I can't remember any other thing. I know. Creator, uh, the caregiver, the joker. Anyway, there's all of these kind of archetypes of characters, right? And I, it really helps me structure. So I use that when I'm writing. I'm like, okay, this is this person is a magician, and now let's develop their specific character based on these wants and strengths and weaknesses so i worked on the characters and then i worked on the plot itself which is literally just beats it's just bulleted a bulleted list of what happens start to finish on the play now i don't i didn't know that i just started writing it and thinking okay looks look back at the characters that person's going to have a secret this is a good time to reveal that secret or to develop the plot that way and i did that and so eventually i got to the end that took two days okay and I just realized I gave you three days to write the play, so it was more than that, because that took two days. And then the day after, I started writing the play. That took another three days. So basically, five days. So I wrote the play in five days. And it was easy. You know, there was, there was no point I stopped. There was another work practice I put in. I read somewhere, probably read it, I don't know, but that Ernest Hemingway had a system because we share so many things, Ernest and I. He had a system where he would, don't leave when he's in a dead end. Don't stop writing when you're a dead end. Stop writing when you know what's going to happen next. So when you come back, you're like just straight into it. 
And I tried that and it worked really well actually. Uh, I wrote 20 pages a day. Actually I wrote 30 pages on the first day, 15 on the next, and I just wrote 20. Something like that, about 20. Um, to the end of the script. So it really works. It works in plays, doesn't work in screenwriting. This kind of just blasting it out. I also read somewhere years ago that Alan Akebourne used to write his plays in a weekend. I don't know if that's true or if I've, I'm now remembering the wrong person. But I heard that and I never understood, like, how's that possible? Like, it must be shit, right? But I've seen Alan Akebourne plays. They're not crap. You know, they're, they're fun. They're good romps, you know. Um, but I guess I kind of get it. Because it's, it's more conducive. Playwriting is more conducive than that. If you really know your characters. Now I got lucky here with the characters that I wrote for this play. I, I feel like I know them all intimately. It was very easy, these ones. It's not normally, but just these people are all pretty straightforward in my head. I could call on them at will during the scene. I know what each of them would say in a given circumstance. You know. Um, so yeah, I speed wrote it. I think I was going to start this with this idea of writing an exposition script. I talked about that before, but I didn't need to. I just sat down and wrote it, and it feels fucking awesome. So maybe I am a playwright. Even though my desire is to do the Pulitzer thing, like maybe that was just a desire. Maybe I really am a playwright, because this came out so easily. I mean, if I could write a screenplay in three days, oh my God. I mean, it's just way more complex. It's way more complex. Anyway, that was it. I wanted to give you an update. I now have to start on the second draft. I have to leave this alone for a day or two, go back and read it, and then punch it up. See if I've got anything. Maybe give it to the best reader I have, my wife. All right, little nuggets. Cheers.